is going on everyone welcome to the video so if you clicked on this you saw the title it says something like 531 review so that's what I'm going to do I am going to talk about 531 the routine that I've been running and for those of you who are new to the channel I will just give you a quick overview of how I've been running 531 how long I've been on it and then we'll get into the pros the cons and if I recommend it for you uh, after a couple minutes of talking, right when you're about to get bored and click off the video, I'll start overlaying some of my recent deadlift workout just to keep your attention so you don't have only have to look at me for like 8-10 minutes, however long this might be. But hopefully this yellow cool universal shirt should keep your attention with this bright yellow. Um, so anyway, I've been running 5 through 1. I started in May 2015, so it's been over two years. Um, the way I set it up personally is kind of like an upper lower split where I have two uh, days dedicated to my upper body. Those are the bench days and the overhead press days and then two lower body days at the squat and deadlift day. And then as far as my accessory exercises, I try to keep, I try to select compound exercises that really are, give you the most bang for your buck so to speak. And I kind of, uh, I vary the rep ranges. So we go anywhere from six to eight reps one week, eight to 10 another, 10 to 12, and then 12 to 15, just to make sure I'm hitting all of the muscles pretty well. Um, so when I started on five through one back in May of 2015, my one rep max on squats was only like 320 pounds. My deadlift max was like 455. And within like six months, I increased my maxes on both of those lifts nearly 100 pounds. However, the second year after that, uh, I haven't really increased my maxes too much beyond that point. So I definitely noticed a much bigger strength increase the first year on the program than after the program. Um, but now let me just get into the pros that I find on 5 through one So the number one thing I like the most about it is that it is highly customizable. You can run it how I did, like an upper lower split. You could even run it like a bro split if you want. You can run it two days, you can run it four days like I did. You could even do three or five days if you wish. So it's very customizable. You can run it if you're trying to gain size. You can run it if you're trying to get, gain strength. And if you're trying to do both. So that's one reason that I really like 5 through 1. Another one is because I like the way it focuses on compound lifts. I think most people can benefit from getting better at the compound lifts, even if your goal is not to do powerlifting. Even as a bodybuilder, focusing on the compound lifts is definitely beneficial and I do like the way it focuses on that. Um, as far as the cons, the only one I would say is if your goal is really only strength, the way it's set up uh, by itself, it, it's not enough frequency in my opinion on the main lifts to actually really get stronger on them. That's why I believe I kind of hit a plateau on strength. I was getting stronger and then after I hit a certain point, I really needed to increase my frequency on squats, deadlifts, bench if I really wanted them to increase. However, strength wasn't my main, main priority, so I didn't do that. However, I do believe if you want to continue making strength gains, if your primary goal is to get stronger, you do need an added uh, frequency on those lifts. Um, however, like I said, it's so customizable that you can add that extra frequency. You could add the extra frequency. So you could add deadlifts to squat day, so you're doing it twice a week. You could add overhead press to bench day, so you're also doing that twice a week. So although the one con I would say is low frequency, you could adapt the program and it, since it is customizable. Um, going off of that, it is a little bit low volume, I would say. If you follow just the bare bone program, it only has you doing three sets on each of the main lifts. Um, the first two sets are typically very easy if you've ever done the program. And the first, the last set, the AMRAP, that's the only one that was really difficult. But again, even though that's a con, I always added back down sets to get more volume. And so if you run it how it's supposed to be without any additional sets, yes, it's a little bit low volume. However, like I said, take the con with the pro, put them together, you can add a little bit more volume, and then you kind of take care of that. So overall, 5 through 1, I think it's a good intermediate routine. I really think there are better routines out there if you're really focused on getting stronger and bigger. Um, this was really meant for me to enjoy the gym. I think it's a very fun routine. It does work. Not the best routine, but if, depending on your goal, if your goal was like me just to really have fun, enjoy the routine, have a four day split and try to get a little stronger at the same time, it's good for you. If you really want to try to maximize your gains, you're really been, you really have a lot of time to dedicate to the gym, I'd probably recommend something else, but five through one overall 
is a pretty good routine, I would say. So, by now you're watching the workout. This was my latest deadlift workout. Um, on the AMRAP set, I actually, it was 470 pounds. The weights here, they're actually a little bit heavier. So it was really like 485. But I, I've been getting a little bit weaker on all my lifts recently, which is one of the reasons that I am switching up my routine after this cycle. I did mention in my last video that I will be changing up my routine. And I didn't say too much what I'm going to be doing. I have been thinking about it for a couple of weeks and in my mind I have it mostly planned out. Um, I don't want to say too much about it yet. Um, you will find out. I will say I still plan on basing my workouts around the main four lifts. So it's still kind of going to be like an upper lower split where I base the day around overhead press, bench, squat, deadlift. Uh, I obviously will not be doing five through one as the progression. So the percentages that I do on those lifts and the amount of sets, those will be changing. Um, because I also do find with five through one, I forgot to say before, another reason I feel like it's not great for getting stronger after a certain point is the intensity is not high enough. So what I mean by that is the highest percentage of your one rep max that you ever reach is 95%. And that's only on week three. Um, which you're only doing obviously every third week. Um, besides that, you never really go above 90%, and even that 90%, it's only on one set. So I do feel that in order to get stronger, although sub-maximal um, weight is what the program is based on, lifting lighter weights to try to get your overall max to get stronger, I do think you also need to be lifting a decent amount of weight close to your max if you do want your maxes to increase. So on my new program, I do plan to incorporate uh, lower uh, lower reps, higher weights, and lifting a little bit closer to my one rep max a little bit more frequently um, because I'm still planning on only doing each lift once per week. I do not plan on doing everything twice per week. I think it would be beneficial to do it more than once per week. However, I do not enjoy training that way and I have always found a good balance between enjoying my training and my goals. So I am hoping that by at least increasing the intensity and lifting heavier weights, Although I'll still only be doing it once per week, I am hoping that will help me get a little bit stronger. Because my max on deadlift, even you see here I did 470, I only got two, I maybe could have gotten three, but I didn't like the way those two look, so I didn't want to push a third. I'm getting a little bit weaker on that and overhead press as well. So I'm going to be resetting my maxes, uh, focusing on a new routine, and hoping to get some strength gains from that. As far as the accessories, as I said before, the way I've been doing it now, I kind of vary the rep ranges. One week six to eight, another week uh, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15. I'm still going to be varying the rep ranges, but I'm gonna be doing it in a little bit of a different way. Um, so I will show you more of those workouts as I get to them. Um, those are the main things, the intensities, the accessory exercises, the way I'm breaking those down, that's how I'm gonna be changing it. Uh, that's really all I can think of for right now. Uh, I do, um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions about 5 through 1, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Like I said, it is an intermediate routine. I do recommend it if you're looking for a pretty solid routine that is fun. So let me just wrap up the pros and the cons. Pros, highly customizable. It can fit any schedule. It can basically fit any goal if you set it up correctly. Um, it, fo it focuses on the main lifts, which I find very useful if you're trying to get stronger and bigger. The cons, a little bit uh, low on the intensity and frequency. However, you could adjust it, like I said, to incorporate that. But the bare bone program, it is a little low on the volume and the intensity. Um, and I mean, that, that's, that's really it. So 5 through one is a solid program. If you never heard of it, you probably have if you're watching this video. But if you never heard of it, give it a go. There's Beyond 5 through one. There's like three ebooks now. Um, each one comes out with more and more information. So. With all the versions out there, you could definitely find and uh, fine tune this routine to fit your goals. I'm definitely going to be using some principles going forward in my new routine, which I will make sure I share with you guys. So that's the workout. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video because I know you guys like to see me eat Halo Top. Now look at that. This is the only Halo Top we have left. And today we are going to go with birthday cake.
So when you eat Halo Top, you have to either leave it out of the freezer for like a half hour or put it in the microwave. My microwave's kind of weak, so I put it in for 40 seconds. If you have a stronger one, I probably recommend closer to like 20, 25 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. See how it is, but it definitely tastes a lot creamier and tastier uh, when it's not completely frozen. I still think the cookies and cream is the best one, but birthday cakes are close number two. And I'm excited because they are sending me their seven new flavors to try. The most exciting one is candy bar, and I'm also excited to try pumpkin pie. So that should be coming sometime this week. And even though you guys hate that I keep having Halo Top in every video, I'll make sure to show you guys what I think about it. So I'm going to eat this now before it melts. Hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, it's actually a deload week for me this week before I start my new routine, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to film. Uh, leave any questions you have below about 531, and I'll see you guys in the next video.